I'd really like to talk about this new concept. We like to call it the one hour Y90. Now, what does that mean? So historically, over the last 10 or 15 years, we have learned that the Y90 procedure is a multi-step procedure. After patient evaluation, you perform an angiogram, you coil embolize vessels, you must perform a nuclear medicine shunting study, you then send the patient home while you order the microspheres, and then you bring the patient back for treatment. What we have found is sometimes there can be some delays with that, and we want to find ways to accelerate treatment, simplify treatment, and minimize the number of procedures that a patient gets. What we have found is that there is a subset of patients with liver cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, that are stage T1 and T2, so they are within transplant criteria, that are candidates for what we call radiation segmentectomy. And in those cases, we analyzed about 350 patients and noticed that their lung shunting study, their lung shunting fraction was very low. And the dose to the lung was basically uh, almost zero, close to zero. And so we believe that we can eliminate this step because it is nowhere near the threshold limit, et cetera. And so in the spirit of accelerating treatment, simplifying things for the patient, uh, we believe that with radiation segmentectomy, if you eliminate the shunting portion, which is basically zero in those patients, uh, the one hour radiation segmentectomy or the one hour Y90 is a reality. We have a 1,000 patient series that we published. About 350 of those patients fit in the criteria I am referring to, the radiation segmentectomy. Those patients have limited disease and they are usually patients uh, awaiting liver transplantation. So in those 350 patients, having analyzed the lung dose, the lack of need for coil embolization, we have realized that when we break down our procedure, the angiogram, the ordering, the MAA, and the bringing of the patient back, that in fact the skin to treatment time is about 60 minutes, the actual segmentectomy time. Everything else is extra. So by analyzing our processes, our operations, uh, we extracted the lung shunting portion, assume it is zero and validated it in the 350 patients that it is zero, in fact have looked at other centers and asked them and they've validated th this answer as well. And so if we extract that from the process, we are down to one hour. Now I do want to highlight one thing. I, I am not suggesting that the MAA scan for primary liver cancer, for HCC, be entirely eliminated. That would be uh, premature. There are many patients with large disease burden, with vascular invasion, uh, where the MAA shunting is mandatory because those tumors may shunt. And we want to uh, be safe and make sure that we limit the lung dose in those patients. But in this subset of patients, which is applicable across all transplant centers, uh, it is possible to get to the uh, one hour Y90, uh, particularly since uh, we have been under pressure to accelerate treatment, to minimize unnecessary procedures. And I think this is a very exciting concept. So I think it's very important to recognize that in order to implement this concept, we will need to take a controlled, organized method to eliminate the MAA portion from the procedure. How do we do that? Well, the MAA portion stems from the package insert. The package insert for both Y90 products talks about the need for a lung shunting study. Uh, and so we will need to generate data, make sure that we can demonstrate to the FDA and to our IRBs that this step is no longer needed Hopefully they will appreciate that this is done for patient safety, uh, to minimize procedures, to, uh, to decrease the time from uh, uh, diagnosis to treatment, all good things that are needed, particularly in this transplant patient population. So there will be some work needed to remove that from the package label uh, because many uh, people will not be comfortable with that. So I think just like with other package labels where you have guidance on what to do depending on certain parameters, increased dose here, lower dose here. What I envision is for the package insert for UNOS stage T1 and T2, limited disease, where radiation segmentectomy is intended, it is possible to eliminate the MAA study and treat at the same time, and hence the origin of the one hour Y90.